I'm recording this video, this video inside Canva. So if you want to learn how to edit this video, let's jump inside Canva and see what we can do with this video. This video, I'm touching the video right now, right? <laughs> let's edit it right. All right. Canva is not just great for design alone. The Canva video editor can literally do amazing things. Hello and welcome to Audacity to Lead. I am Dio Samuel and this is where I give you the courage and the necessary insights you need to lead your life and business in the direction that matters to you. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the complete guide to Canva video editor and I'm going to give you a couple of tips and tricks that you can use along the way that will help you create some of the most amazing videos that you can create without necessarily using an advanced video software. If you're interested in that, let's get over to that. So now I'm inside cover and I'm going to go ahead and click on video here and you will see there is video, Facebook video, video message, mobile video, YouTube video, video collage and you see YouTube video ad, Facebook video ad, all of these are different templates including TikTok video. These are different different templates that you can use to create your video. For this particular video, I'm going to be choosing the regular video. So I'm going to be starting with this regular video here. And this is the video interface. Now, let me quickly show you a basic tutorial on this interface. First, this is where you have your video. This is where your video is going to be playing. And this is where you have your timeline. You can see the timeline is still basic for now. Perhaps maybe Canva will do a lot of upgrades to this. But for now, this is what we have here. And I'm going to show you how to take advantage of this this is where you find templates in canva you see your templates to this side of your screen and you can literally find a lot of videos here a lot of video templates here if you want to you can type a business and select business and look for any template that doesn't have a pro if you don't have a pro account but if you have a pro account you can select any template within canva and you can use that but this appears to be free so i'm going to click this and you can see these templates here basically just have this text and this is an animated image you can see this is an animation and it just continues playing on my screen while this here is also a text so that's basically how to create a text based video but for this particular video what I'm going to do is to show you how to create your own video how to edit your own video so I'm going to be doing animations later on but for this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how to edit your own videos that's what i'm going to be showing you so this is where you find elements of course this is where you have your uploads this is where you have your project this is where you have your text this is where you have your photos this is where you have your stars your start this is where you have your charts brand fetch and all that now i'm going to come to upload and i'm going to try and upload a video of myself so in order for you to be to edit your videos inside canva you need to upload a video in order to upload a video you come to this option here this upload here click on upload files and look for where you have stored your video at the point of this recording canva doesn't allow you to upload large video files yet the maximum we can upload for now is one gigabyte and that is also dependent on your internet speed all right what i recommend as a tip will be for you to break your videos down into um, tiny chunks and then record them bit by bit and then upload them into canva with that said let's go ahead and upload the video all right so i've uploaded my video and you can see my video is currently uploading right here you can wait for it to finish uploading but if you don't want to wait you can simply tap it and yeah. it's going to add it to your timeline all right and you I'm can see editing no um i am recording this video so that's basically the video right there. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do with this video that we've uploaded right now. So first, let me show you how to edit and trim your video. So let's say you make mistakes in your video, how to remove mistakes from your video. All right. So move your video. You can right click and set your video as background. That way your video becomes the background that you're going to be using. And a little tip here as well will be for you to look at this side of your screen where you have this 46 percent here just look at this side if you click zoom page if you look at this it's going to be zooming in your page but if you don't want to zoom in your page maybe you want to look at your timeline and be able to identify a lot more details you can select this right here so having zoomed out my timeline what you want to do right now is you want to play your video so that you can listen and get the parts where you have your mistakes hiya i'm editing no i'm 
Higher. So you can see I made some mistakes there. So I'm going to come back to where I made that mistakes and I'm going to show you how to trim your mistakes out of your video. So I'm recording this video to show you how to edit this video. Mm -hmm. Higher. I'm recording this higher. Okay, it appears that's the point where I can split that image. If you right click this split, you will see split image, but you can also press S on your keyboard and then it splits it for you by itself. So you can see now if I press play higher. So if that doesn't work, you can still trim your video this way. You can still trim your video this way. You can see I'm dragging this higher. I'm recording this video to show you how to edit this video inside canvas. Alright, you can see that in order for me to remove the mistake, I can simply right click this and delete this page. Alright, next up, let me show you how to add some other elements, maybe a bureau to your video within Canva. If you want to add a bureau, so let's say you want to add a video about Canva. So Hiya. I'm recording this video to show you how to edit this video inside so let's say the way I say this video, I want to actually put Canva on screen. So I'm going to right click again at split page and then listen again and then right click and split again. So if you want to learn how to edit this video, let's jump in to show you how to edit. So let me split it here. And for this part, I'm going to add a Canva clip. So what you will do is come to elements and search for Canva and you can look for video and look around if you can find Canva, a video about Canva. If you can find a video about Canva, you can create your own video you can create your own animations and all that what you can do will be to click on this animated canva logo so add it to your screen you can then pick your shape and then draw your shape over your back make your shape your background draw your shape over it this way and then come to position send it backward once now notice that in our timeline your video is still playing so here let's now play the video I'm recording this video to show you how to edit this video inside Canva. So, if you want. So you can see that's how I will add a bureau to my video. Now, in order to make it more fanciful, in order to make it look beautiful, what I can do is actually really design this page. Now I'm going to choose this and I'm going to use Audacity to lead color, which is a brand color. And then I can create a lot of elements in the background. So that brings me to how to create graphics in your video on Canva. So how do you create graphics in your video on Canva? Let me show you how. Alright, so in order to create graphics in your video on Canva, let's say this is what you have here. I can search for shadow and I'm going to simply add a shadow to this image here, to this text on my screen. So I can add a circular shadow like this. The purpose of the shadow is to make this look a little bit solid. So rather than it looking just flat, you can use shadow to make your image look a little bit richer. And then how do I create some of the background? How can I create background? You can simply type background here and then look for graphics for your background so you can look for graphics for your background perhaps maybe you can use this if this is interesting to you for me that is not looking very interesting instead i'm going to use a color like this and i'm going to stretch it out stretch it out like this and then use from here you can select these three options here and send backward at least once and then you can also come to image and from here select see all and then you can blur this here. So if you blur it here, you see what it looks like. Rather than being vivid, you kind of blur it out right now and it looks very calming, looks like it's sitting down right in that background. Now, what you can do here is you can also add text. So let's say you want to add text of how to edit videos inside Canva. So let's write how to edit videos using. So I'm going to type how to edit videos using Canva. For this, you can basically group them together. So next step will be for you to group this together. What you want to do is select your text and then duplicate your text let how to be on a line and let edit using be on another line that way you have control over your text now for this how to let's select your white and then for this let's select a yellow and then let's select i now next you want to do is select your text size which is 120 and then select your text size again 
go here and increase it to 120. That way, anybody who looks at your video can see what you've written without it overshadowing everything on your screen. So, how to edit videos using Canva. So, now you have how to edit. So, let's have how to edit. Um, I can remove using, but I'm going to leave it there. So, instead, I'm going to duplicate this how to edit and then I'm going to have using on a separate line. So, you have using on a separate line and then I remove using from this line here. Now, with that, I'm going to move my text to the side of my screen. I'm going to move this here. I'm going to reduce the text from 120 to 60 thereabouts so that it's just half of all the other text. So, and then I'm going to increase the size of this a little bit from 120 to about 180. So, if you don't find the size that you're looking for, you can type your size here, 180. And then I'm going to move this down here. And I'm going to move my Canva animation to the side of my screen. And let's say this is what you want to have on your screen. So, I'm going to adjust this here. And we have this right now. So, now we have it centered. We have your text. You have your animation. You have everything on the screen. So, let me now show you how to animate your text. If you select this animate here, and then you select pan here, my recommendation will be for you to use both here reverse I exit both select both and then select reverse exit remember you've used pan for this particular text you want to use a different animation so for this i want to use ascend here so i want to use accent here and i want to choose both and i'm going to leave it this way so you have your writing style it could be the line but i will use the word and then you can choose the direction you want it to come from so i'm going to choose the top and then you want to reverse exit animation that is when it's going out it basically goes the opposite direction and for this, I'm going to use maybe a roll for this. And then I'm going to choose both. So you can see word, word. If I choose word, if I choose element, you can see I'm going to choose word because that word looks more interesting. And then I'm going to have it as that. For this, I've not animated this yet. So I'm going to animate this element. I'm going to use maybe a neon for this element uh, or maybe a scrapbook. You can see that the it's not animating the background of that, right? So when you observe that it is not creating the second option, um, your shadow, if your shadow is not being animated, if you want to, you can take it out. But what I typically do is I come here and then I animate using the same thing for that text as for that shadow as well. So you can use the same thing for the shadow. But in this case, I'm going to use fade. So now that you've used fade, let's not take our video back to that beginning. So let's play. I am recording this video to show you how to edit this video inside the camera. You may probably notice a glitch when you edit your video. That should not create a problem for you. Sometimes that is created because Canva is trying to move between pages. You do not have to worry about that. Perhaps maybe when you export your video, when you download your video, that may be balanced out. All right, so let's play the video again. I am recording this video to show you how to edit this video. Inside. Now that we've done that, let's look at how to add transitions in Canva. So if you want to add transitions, you come to this plus here and then you select add transition right here. And you can see all of these different transitions. Canva has just recently introduced a new transition, which I like so much. It's called color wipe. And this color wipe, I like it to go this way. And you can customize the colors here to your brand colors. So I'm going to do a little bit of customization here. You see that color? I'm going to change it to gray. You see that gray, right? You see that here. This is my favorite transition, mainly because it's customizable, fit your branding style. Others, you can try others if you like them. So let's look at what we have. I am. I'm recording this video. This video inside the camera. So you see, there's a little bit of glitch there, right? Sometimes that happens because you are trying to render, because Canva is trying to render what they call a render video. That's what's happening. But while we are waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead and show you now how to add the music to your video inside Canva. If you want to add music in Canva, you simply find the option for music here, which is called audio. So you come to audio here, you can see a lot of audios right here. If you have your custom audio, you can use your custom audio if you have if you don't have you can literally use any of the canva music soundtrack including sound effects that are available inside canva now i'm going to choose upbeat here and i'm going to look for any of the soundtrack
So I like that soundtrack. Not that I completely like it, but I like it for now. I'm going to add that to my timeline. In order to add a soundtrack to your timeline, just click soundtrack. It's going to try and add it to your soundtrack, to your timeline. What you can do is basically drag the timeline. So there's the option here, say audio effects right up here. And there's adjust up here. Adjust means that you can stretch how long you want your video to be. Audio effect means you can adjust fade in and fade out. So I'm going to select outside of that video and then you can drag your audio rather. You can drag it along your timeline to anywhere you want it to be. And you can stretch your, your audio how long you want it to be as well. So that if you adjust it here, you can adjust it that, okay, you want a specific part of that audio to play, not everything from the beginning to the end. So if you have a favorite part of that soundtrack, you can use that. So let's listen to this. Right now, the audio is overshadowing our video. How do you handle that? If you select this here, if you select these three options here, you see adjust audio effect, volume, split audio, duplicate track, delete track. Now, if you choose volume here, this will pop up over here, in, here on your screen. What you simply do is drag your audio down to a lower volume, something around 13, 15, thereabouts. And then let's play it and listen to how it sounds. I am. I'm recording this video. This video inside the camera. So, want to learn how to so apparently it's still too loud you can come up here and still drop the audio a bit further to about six now i'm going to go back to the beginning and play it again so you want to learn how to edit this video let's drop inside camera See what we can do. Now that I've done some basic editing of my video, I'm going to go ahead and download the video, what they usually call export, and then show you what it looks like. So let's see how to download your video. All right, so in order to download your video, you simply come over to share up here, and then you select download, and you make sure you choose MP4 video. If you want to, you can select certain pages if that you want to download. If you want to download certain pages and you don't want to download everything, and then you can go ahead and download if you click on download here you will be able to download your videos now when you use music in your video it's important for you to read this part of this screen here where it says by connecting your social accounts to canva your one design music license there's something about canvas music license and content id claim that's available that's um, on social media my recommendation would be for you to connect your canva to the platform where you most likely be using that video so for example if you're editing your videos for youtube connect to your youtube channel or connect to your youtube account to your Canva account. If you're exporting for Instagram, if you want to use it on Instagram or you want to use it on TikTok, connect your TikTok to your Canva. Actually, you can connect more than one social media account to a Canva account. All right. Now let's go ahead and then export our video. I'm just going to go ahead and download. And you will see this part pop up and it's going to start exporting your video. If you want to just send it to someone for you to get feedback, you can literally just click on this copy here and then send to someone. So if I come over here, come to new tab and then I paste that link that I just copied here, it's going to show just the video. It's not going to show the person the entire Canva interface. So just going to show the video and they can play the video right here. Michael Hyatt once said that people lose their way when they lose their whys. You are watching this video right now. I want to ask you, why are you watching this video? I know you may probably just say that, oh, because I just want to learn how Canva video editing works. Beyond just learning how Canva video editing works, why do you want to learn how Canva video editing works? And even if you have an answer for that, why do you want to learn video editing? Perhaps you may say you want to improve your business, you want to improve your social media presence. The question now will be, why do you want to improve your social media presence? If you have an answer for that, dig a little deep further and ask yourself, why does that matter? And I'm sharing that with you today on Thought for Today because people lose their way when they lose their why. I don't want you to get caught up in the middle of this video and then completely forget that there is a reason behind all of these things that you were doing. Don't forget that. Keep that in mind and let that be a reason why you will continue to move further, move forward and play a bigger game. As I always say, 
This is where I give you the courage and the necessary insights you need to lead your life and your business in the direction that matters. In order for you to lead your life and business in the direction that matters, you need to have a consistent, a constant understanding, a constant view of your why. So I want to ask you again today, what is your why? I know this may come as a shock to you right now, but it doesn't have to cause a shock to you. The purpose of this channel is to provide design as a strategy for clarity, courage, and creativity. I hope that this segment has inspired that or sparked that in you today. Now that you've learned how to edit videos in Canva, you can use the link in the description below to trial Canva Pro for free for the next 30 days. And that will give you a lot more juice to some of the things you can do with Canva beyond just the video to other elements in Canva as well. As a thank you for watching this video, the Canva file for this video that I've just edited is right in the description of this video. You can go ahead and download that right away and I'll be glad to hand that over to you so you can see some of the things that I do to polish it up. You can see that in the description of this video. If you want to learn how to use Canva to create poster design, you can watch this video right here and I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create poster design. And if you're new here, you can go ahead and subscribe using this button right here. I'm going to see you in this video.